Since you're wearing that gi, it's a great contrast. Alright, off of Ryan's simple straight ankle. Now, I know we've been talking about guard passing, okay? So as we're here, right, I can get into this position here, which enables me to fall back for a straight ankle, okay? Now, typically, okay, typically you would get a straight ankle lock like so. You try to sit up, keep them away, and you're gonna roll to the left, okay? But here what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do something different, okay? First thing, secure your hand to your collar right here, okay? Control that knee, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna scoot back, and I'm gonna insert this hook right in here, okay? And my right foot can be either at his hip or at his far leg, okay? I'm gonna control his knee, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rotate to my right, my upper body rotates to the left, okay? You can do it with this grip right here on the collar. You can have your foot on his chest here, okay? But what my goal is to wedge this and to twist that way. Because if you notice, the knee's coming this way and the foot is rotating that way, okay? So I have to be nice and soft. So, you have a traditional ankle lock here, okay? I'm gonna scoot back, hook right there. And it's like you're lifting and your knee's going to 12 o'clock. You could put this hand on the collar, I'll do it from a different angle. And this hand on the knee, okay? Because my goal is to move his foot forward. Because you're attacking this part of the foot, not the pressure here. So you wanna straighten his foot. So if you apply pressure usually to the pinky, you get the toe. Sometimes when you apply, because the toe is like the strongest finger on the feet. So as you're here, okay, right in there, and you're gonna move the shoulder back, and there it is right there. So as my knee goes this way, my upper body goes the opposite way. It's not necessarily me lifting, even though I can, okay? It's more so me moving this knee this way and twisting the foot the opposite way. If this is loose and any of it's loose, it's going to be harder to finish. Okay? So is that straight on the knee too? What? Is this straight on the knee as well, right? Each foot, Gina, how would you describe it? A little bit of lateral pressure on the knee inside. A little bit. It could be a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because with the body movement, okay, so we're here. Cut his foot, or pull it. Let's say it's like a, maybe a double golf pull here, right here, here, and then this foot goes right inside over there. Okay, I need to fix my hands. Okay, my grip. I can get this grip right here. I can take this foot, push him away right here, and as my knee goes this way, my upper body goes out. So what I'm doing is like I tilt to the right. You'll feel this wedge right here, and you don't want to fall to the right because what I learned is. Do this is illegal in IBJJ. Not that we really care, but you can move this way and I can go that way. So if you notice, I'm but moving at the same time. You feel it here Correct, and yeah. on the toe. Because if this toe. is loose, as I, he can relieve the pressure by moving it that way. So I have to wedge it this way here, and I'm like pulling up, pushing here 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 just as long as he should be able to sit up and reach me here if by chance I'm late and he sits up and reaches here to break this grip just put it on the chest here and break the grip and see at the same time I'm falling back and I'm not even holding this tight here okay because when you wedge this here I like to do this here wedge it and you push off with this foot so as you move to the right you're kind of wedging yourself with that right foot that left knee is up and then twist to the left. So you're basically moving his knee this way and the foot goes that way. Alright, so what I would say is get this control here. It's where your left hand, your left elbow, like a rear naked choke, is at the bottom of his Achilles. Come up, 
the darts, grab your shoulder, and then pull here. And from here, tilt to the right. And do it this way. You could probably even do it this way here. Yeah, there's some pressure here. Sometimes he may be able to take that foot back and stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah, right there. Got it. So what I want to do here is if he stands up, it's even worse because I want to keep his foot on my chest. I I because he ideally wants to push it all the way through and get it to the mat. Yeah, that's stopping you, but here, stand up. Yeah. So as he does this, you just set it right here on your chest, okay? And he's not gonna, yeah. So here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it because typically what happens here is that he'll start going falling backwards there and you'll fall into a, a really horrible foot loss, okay? So all I want you guys to do is this. Just to get into the position, here, pull this in, wrap it right here, and just grab your gi so your hand is free. Okay, here, put the foot here, and then hook right there. You're gonna tilt to the right, because you need pinches, just a 12, and you're gonna twist to the left, because you wanna go that way. If you don't have this tight, you're just gonna fall off. Yeah. And you can even control it here, or here, or even yeah. That's worse. Yeah. All kinds of key is not to let him rotate his foot this way so the heel will pop out. If it does, you can still torque it to finish it here. And then maybe yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So that's all I want you guys to do. Alright, let's try. One, two, three. Let's start there.